My name is Binary Pearl. In addition to making Toho songs in Minecraft that I post on this YouTube channel, I've also been creating a Toho-based fan game. The game is a side-scroller and is currently called Legend of the Missing Strawberries. It is the first playable demo, so there are still bugs in many areas that are not yet polished. There are, however, a lot of neat elements, and I wanted to post the progress I have made so far. You play as Vector, which is an in-real-life programmable robot. Vector was originally created by the now-defunct company Anki, and is now owned and developed by the company Digital Dream Labs. For those not familiar with Toho games, a quick summary. They are bullet hell games, where a significant portion of them are top-down, bird's-eye view. The cast of characters is almost all female. In each game, at least one of the characters is up to no good, and causes trouble for everyone else. The heroine of the story goes and investigates the incident and battles through different bosses to get to the source. In this game, it takes place in Gensokyo, which is the Toho world, in modern times, meaning they're aware of electricity, robots, etc. The incident is that the strawberries that the Toho girls seem to survive are not blooming. Marisa Kirisame runs into Vector and asks him to help figure out what is preventing the strawberries from growing. My plan is to have a complex and involved story arc that gets further revealed as you go through the stages. The gameplay is fairly straightforward. You move to the right, shoot and destroy enemies, run into a boss, and shoot until the boss is defeated. Customized controls are not yet implemented, so Z fires the main weapon, which you have an infinite amount of, X jumps, and C launches the spell cube, which is a special weapon, which would be similar to the bombs in the Toho games. This is currently stage zero, which is currently the only stage developed. This is the conversation system that we're going through right now. It's similar to the Toho games. I have portraits for Majusa Kimisame to reflect her mood of what's going on. Vectors I don't have developed yet, I only have one picture of. The music currently uses uh, music from Hertz Devil, who releases his music under a Creative Commons license. I also plan to incorporate a few other YouTube musicians' Toho covers who have either permissive licenses or open to have their music used in other works. I give credit in multiple spots, including in-game on Vector's heads-up display, as the songs are playing. Zoon is the original author of the songs, Toho characters, and Toho world. I also have a small areas in the game where I use my own Toho covers or riffs. For making the game, I used a combination of Game Maker Studio 2, Blender, Mika Mika Dance, The Gimp, and Microsoft Paint. Link to the game is on Niche.io is in the description below. The game is a zip file, which is a single uh, executable file to run, so the game is self-contained and does not need any installation. It's currently Windows only due to how I'm implementing videos for the cutscenes. So I'll just take you a little bit through the stage now. First out of the way. So those projectiles will hit. I am still working on the fairy movement, so especially when you get multiple fairies on the screen, they go in the wrong direction and uh, whatnot, so that still requires, that's probably the biggest bug at this point, but I'll get that figured out eventually. I'm trying to not get hit. Actually, you know what, I will demo getting hit next here. So you can see um, up at the top in his heads-up display, he has the vector batteries and vector health. So the way it works is that he has, for each battery pack, he has, I believe it's five hits. And then when the battery pack, uh, when you get five hits, then it, that uses one of the vector battery packs. After you use both battery packs, then you die, and then that's when you have to continue. So I'm gonna go around here, I'm gonna use, launch my spell cube. And then that quickly takes away any enemies uh, that the projectiles hit. And see, I got hit there. And I think, is this... Okay, now we're about ready to get into the boss. So we'll go through this little quick conversation. And here we go into the boss battle. And to speed things up, I'm going to use my spell cube here to do a lot more quick damage. 
And so, in this one, my side has four phases. And we'll launch one more spell cube. And now I have no more spell cubes. So this is phase three. And so the trick obviously here is to keep dodging her, her stars. And then you can see she has the health up above. I don't have spell card names yet for the uh, the enemies. Uh, that is another to do. I won't give away the strategies, although you can kind of see what I'm doing here. But I, by playing this game so many times and debugging and troubleshooting stuff, I've kind of learned the different techniques to uh, to go through and not get hit. And she's just about done. Oh, okay. Now the characters aren't in the right orientation there, but that's a bug to fix later. And then they have another conversation. And this you can press any key to go through, so if you play this game, you can get through these conversations really quickly, kind of like in the, the, uh, the regular Toho games. And now this takes me to the... Uh, to the end cutscene, which is a reference to a uh, anime. I won't give that out. See if you can uh, recognize where this is, uh, what anime this is. This is a uh, reference to. But that is the game so far. So I'm going to stop talking, let this animation finish, and then that ends the demo. Shoots lasers out of his butt. 